Here's something you will need to consider if you're going to build a set of stairs like this one here with uh, gaps in between the risers and uh, even in between the boards used for the treads. And you can see right here, it looks like they used two by six, two two by six to make one tread. And you can see the gaps there. And of course you can see the debris that uh, is basically in some of the gaps and of course you can see the debris that um, you can see the gap where there isn't any debris and uh, if you could just imagine the gaps where there are not any debris um, that uh, you got a pretty good idea that uh, there will be debris underneath this stairway and if you don't have any way to clean the stairway out underneath the stairway then it won't be long and when i say long let's just say that it takes five years to accumulate enough debris underneath this stairway to start decomposing and once it does then uh, and it starts touching the wood once it builds up then you're going to have a problem with the stairway eventually it will rot so, um, and, and, and there are a variety of different things. I mean, you can just imagine someone, there's debris here, and someone decides to grab a hose and clean this uh, debris out. And some of the debris is going to go into the, underneath the stairway. And then of course, some of the water is going to go underneath the stairway also. Now you've got wet debris, and it's gonna be in the shade for a long period of time. Um, and then once you've cleaned out the gaps, then um, you now have uh, more area for the um, debris to fall through. And I hope I'm making sense here. And you realize that a stairway like this um, will need to be sealed somehow. And of course, don't forget, if you seal the stairway, if you were to take some caulking and seal the um, gaps here then now you're also getting rid of the circulation there won't be any way for the air to circulate underneath the stairway which of course um, any moisture that would get trapped underneath the stairway could uh, rot the wood out even faster so if you're gonna build a stairway like this it wouldn't be a bad idea to provide some type of an area or an opening where the stairway can be cleaned out regularly um, I don't know if that would include a, a tread that you could remove, a step that you could remove. If you are going to caulk the gaps and paint the stairway, then make sure that there's an uh, area of ventilation. There's a screen, a screened vent on the outside. And I don't think that would be hard to do in a situation like this. You, you can see that there's a wall there on the outside to the right uh, of the previous picture. And you just put a vent on the outside and um, or even a door, something you can open up so you can clean underneath there. So just thought I would throw that out there. If you're an architect, contractor, building designer, something like that, um, even a, a handyman, you might uh, think twice before building a stairway like this. Now that you know, you could end up having problems with it in the future.